Hello. Today I'm going to talk about the command line. Uh, this is going to be a series of videos to show you about 80% of what you will always use in the command line. These are very useful commands and they will only open a lot of doors um, and you need to know these things to really master your computer. So, uh, they will enable you to execute so many programs that you were not able to before. They will enable you to modify your operating system um, to an extent that you didn't know before. And they might enable you to do things a lot faster. So here we go. But first, before going into the command line, we need to understand one thing. In the past, Computers didn't have like Windows interface here. By the way, I have a Windows computer here and a Macintosh computer on this side. So I can I, I will be doing the command line for both. And at some point, I'm just going to go with one. Okay. Uh, but I just want to illustrate for both. So uh, here you have, you know, a Windows computer and here you have a Macintosh computer. Now, the, um, the, the thing to know is that before there were these interfaces, okay, there, there was the terminal. So all people had was something uh, something like this. All people had were either a was either a Windows like this or a Windows or a window like this, right? They just had a computer where they could just type stuff in it, you know, type stuff in it, and they they needed to interact with the computer like this. No icons, nothing. So how did people, you know, got by with this? Well, by understanding how the computer is organized. Of course, way back people need to know, needed to know more about their computers than people do now, right? So to understand what this is. But then you, you'll get that knowledge too. So, so before we can go to this, right, I'm going to go back to the visual. So in Windows, for example, right? These are all files somewhere. Some of these are sound files, some of these are other files, right? The same thing for uh, in the Macintosh. I have a lot of files here, okay? Now, these files have to be somewhere. Where is that somewhere? Well, it's your hard drive, your hard disk, right? Now, notice the word drive. It's your hard drive. On Windows, okay, for traditional reasons, that's called C colon. C colon is usually your hard drive. That means your hard disk, okay? And in the Macintosh, it's my computer. There's a, a, a my, my Macintosh hard drive, I'm sorry. Macintosh hard disk, right, or hard drive. That is the hard drive of your computer. If we click on the hard drive here, we see these files. Files are organized like this. There's your hard drive, which is also called the root. Think of a tree, okay? This is the root of the tree. This, again, Macintosh hard drive, that's the root of the tree in Macintosh. And from then on, you have branches, which are folders, right? So you have the users branch, okay? Or the users folder, or as they're called, the user directory, okay? This is, again, old uh, terminology, directory, and root and drive, but that's what the command line still uses, so that's why I'm repeating it to you. So remember, this is your hard drive, drive C, which is also the root. And these folders or branches of this tree are directories, right? And then from these directories, you can navigate. So I went to local hard drive C, then I went to users, then I went to FDYACB, and then I go to my folder, and then I find a leaf in the tree. So I navigate these branches. First the root, then this branch, then this branch, then this branch, and then I reach a leaf, which is a file. Okay, so, um, so the, 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 the structure, the file structure on the hard drive, in order for you to navigate it, is similar to a tree with the root, branches, which are called directories, and then the leaves are actual files that you can actually open and see, or, or an application that you can execute. All of those things are stored in the hard drive, and they're all always stored in this tree-like fashion. 
Let's do the same thing for the Macintosh. We have the root, which is the hard drive, right? I can go to users. It's a similar path, but these are different computers, so you might not see the same thing. Macintosh hard drive, then you go to users, then you go to FD Jacobi, and then you see a bunch of file, a bunch of branches again, and I don't know, a bunch of, uh, and then you have some files, okay? Or here you have some files. So, or leaves, right? So now we have this term of root, root, and then directories, and directories, 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 and files, okay? Root, uh, I don't know, directory, directory, and directory, and files, okay? Now, here's the other thing. You notice how at some point in the Macintosh, I went from Macintosh HD and then this FD Jacobi, this little house came up, right? That's your home directory. Home directory is where most of your files go by default. So the operating system, Macintosh or Windows, okay? They will assign you a home directory. Why? Because from this branch, say for example on Windows, you go to local hard drive C. There's program files here. There's uh, Internet Explorer, for example. If I delete by accident any of these things, it might be that my Internet Explorer will just won't work anymore. Okay? So, how do I avoid navigating to these places by accident? Well, usually what happens is that, um, is that the computer will just put me in a home directory, okay? So we'll assign a home directory, and usually it's the name of your username, okay? So this is just my username here. On Windows, it's usually under uh, users, preference, and settings, or something like that. My computer is a little bit different here, but your computer might, might be different. But when you open the file explorer, you should be on your home directory, okay? You can navigate out of there or in there, as you wish. Same thing on the Macintosh. You're usually posted your home directory, which actually has like a little house next to it. This is my home directory. This is where I save most of my files. Okay. Uh, I have very little reason to go outside of my home directory. So I hope that by now you understand what uh, directory structures look like, both on Macintosh and PC. We're, not gonna, we're now going to go to uh, look at it from the command line perspective in the in the next video